Hello friends. So today I'm going to talk about new product development NPD and what are the different stages that are involved in launching a product bringing from concept or idea stage to a final tangible product. So without wasting any further time, let's start our video. Hello and welcome to yet another video series from digital learning your one stop solution for all your learning needs. So what is NPD or new product development? So it is a total process that takes a service or a product from a concept or an idea stage to a market where it is launched. Approximately 80% of your new products will fail. As the customer taste and preference are ever changing, new product development becomes a necessity for any organization. New product development is basically described as the transformation of market opportunities into the product available for sale. This product could be tangible, something physically which we can touch or intangible like a service or an experience. Cost, time and quality are the three main variables that will drive your customer need. Aiming at these three variables, innovative companies develop continuous practice and strategies to better satisfy customer requirement. Assuming that you have three variables, cost, time and quality. So if you want a product to be good and cheap, it will be slow. If you want a product to be good and to be delivered fast, it will be costly. And if you want a product to be cheap and fast, it will be of low quality. Achieving all three attributes, cost, quality and fast will not going to happen. As the customer taste and preference are ever changing, new product development becomes a necessity for any organization. It is okay to fail, but fail early and move on to the next idea. So every product goes through a number of stages, starting from idea generation, idea screening, concept development, marketing, business analysis, product development, market testing and commercialization. So in this uh, coming slides, we're going to look at each one of these in more detail. But before that, your NPD project or a product could be the addition to the existing product line. It could be a replacing the existing product into the market with a new one or altogether introducing a new concept into the market, which is not yet being released even by your competitors. So the first stage of NPD starts with idea generation. Any great invention or idea of a product starts with a brilliant idea. And at this phase, the goal is to collect the maximum pool of innovative ideas and concepts. Two main source of idea collection could be internal source, where many company gives incentives to the employees. It could be R&D guy, quality, marketing, or even a sales. You can probably ask your employees who are in direct contact with your customer. Almost 55% of your new product ideas come from internal sources. Next source could be your external source. This refers to all kinds of external sources like distributors, suppliers, and approximately 28% of new product ideas comes from watching and listening to your customers. What do you do think about your product? What could you have done better? Sometimes these small, small reviews or feedbacks from customer, even the ideas can help company generate new product ideas. Because your most important external source are customers and new product development process should be focused on creating the customer value. The other source could be the SWOT analysis, strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. So with this tool, by comparing these to your competitors and to your market, you will have some idea about what your next product could be. SWOT analysis is identifying your company's strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. The next what we can look at is the market research which is nothing but an organized effort to gather information about the target market or customers. It is very important component of business strategy. Companies constantly review the changing needs, wants and trends in the market. 
The next stage in NPD is idea screening. The main goal is to figure out the best product idea. Idea screening means filtering out the ideas to pick the best one. Therefore, company would like to invest in only those product ideas which will turn into a profitable product. Now that you have gathered multiple pool of ideas, now it is time to put them into a filter and see which ideas are working for you and which are not. Filtering your ideas means that you have to evaluate each of them based on some specific factors. So these factors could be risk, company's vision and mission, return on investment, and the market potential. The next step in product development is concept development. It aims to turn out the product idea into a product concept. Concept is nothing but a detailed strategy or a blueprint version of an idea. So when idea is developed in every aspect, so as to make it presentable, it is called as concept. And to go on into a new product development process, attractive ideas must be developed into a product concept. So once this concept is developed, it is brought to the market to test it. Some selected customers from target group are chosen to test the concept. Information is provided to them to help them visualize the product. They will evaluate whether the product will turn out to be good or bad and may also give some suggestions for improvement in design. It basically wants us to know what the customer feel about the idea or innovation, whether it is a good idea or a bad idea. So the next stage is the business analysis. Now that the business has finalized the concept, it is time to analyze and decide the marketing, branding and other business strategies that will be used. This phase is all about setting the profit expectations, product pricing, distribution and marketing distribution. The testing results will help the business in coming up with the final concept to be developed into a product. So the next phase is the product development. So at this phase, once all the strategies are approved, the product concept is transformed into a tangible product. That you start from your concept till the time the product is developed. The problem is that at this stage, the R&D and the engineering cost can cause huge jump in investment. Because R&D is mostly involved in R&D testing, prototyping and uh, verifying the, whether the product will work or not. So the R&D department will develop and test one or more physical version of the product concept. Developing a successful prototype, however, can take up to days and sometimes weeks. Also, the product often undergoes tests to make sure they perform safely and effectively. This can be done by firms itself or outsource. And in many cases, marketers also involve actual customers in product testing wherein the consumers can evaluate prototype and work with the pre-release product. Their experience can be very useful at this stage because it can save lot, lots and lots of money if it can detect this problem very early on. The next phase is the commercialization and launch phase. The commercialization means nothing else than introducing a new product into the market. At this point, the highest cost is incurred. Marketing along with top management will decide the launch strategy as to where the company will be launching and some launch strategy will could include your launch geographies, sales volume, your country's regulation and pricing strategy. Finally, it is a time to celebrate your success because you have successfully launched your product into the market. So at this point of time, your product is now about to enter a product life cycle, which is about nothing about the different stages of a product, which goes through when it is first launched into a market. Starting with the introduction stage, we have the growth stage, maturity and decline. Not all product will reach the final stage. Some continues to grow and others rise and fall. So the last phase is a disposer or end of life. 
So in this phase, your product actually has reached the end of useful life. So there are two options normally we be which company or opt. Either they phase out that product from the market or they completely recall in case of any issues and they start looking for new product at this stage. So that is all I have on this video. See you soon in my next video. Now you can follow digital e-learning on all the social media platforms like Instagram, YouTube, Twitter and for our regular updates you can join our Facebook and LinkedIn groups. I will share the link for all these in my description below. Thanks for watching digital e-learning. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and share this video with all your friends on all the social media platforms.